so Sophia actually has a free food tour. It's called the Balkan Bites, and we had to do it once we saw it because it's really unique. A lot of cities around the world have food tours, but you can find them on TripAdvisor or Viter.com for like cheapest, like 20 bucks up to like 50. So this is all for free. So anything we get is just like bonus. And then we can always go back for a full size portion later if we really love it. So let's see what there is on a free food tour. <laughs> I'm from Balkans and since it's called Balkan Bites we're gonna see if it's similar to other Balkan food or it's way off so let's see that so okay first up we have a cold soup made with Bulgarian yogurt and garlic bottoms up mm. it's like tzatziki it's like a liquid tzatziki <laughs> okay so first up Yogurt with cucumbers approved because my grandma used to make this same thing for me, so I approve Balkan Bites on the first try. It's time to taste some wine. Mm. Full bodied. The tannins are giving oak. <laughs> yeah, real wine taste this. But it is really nice with the human wine from Bulgaria. We liked it so much that we got a tap wine. We got a half a liter of Vrachansky Miskit, which we're gonna enjoy with the Thanksgiving dinner. If you ever come to Sofia, Bulgaria, you really have to visit Garafa Wine Shop. I loved the concept of it. They have these reusable bottles, and you fill up your bottle of choice, whatever size you want, with your wine of choice on tap. So we chose the white wine, of course, the miscat, which is local to Bulgaria, and it's a really sustainable concept. Once you're done with it, you go back to the shop, and you can either return your bottle and get four leva back for it, or you could just refill with some more wine. So I don't see why you wouldn't just do the latter, but yeah. Just keep drinking. Just keep drinking, and we love sustainable winery practices gonna enjoy this one more than usual even if that's possible and the next stop is really close it's honest burgers and beers let's see what that has to offer <laughs> we got to try both beef and vegetarian burger which is made from quinoa both are made by this restaurant including their special made sauce fun fact fast food became very popular in bulgaria in the days transitioning after communism since the people living there had never seen or tried any of these super famous global fast food brands so they were crazed for it lining up down the block to get some so that's why this was included in this part of the tour and the kids are something that's really simple they just fried dough and oil but it has a lot of sentimental value to us, yeah? Uh-huh. We usually sweet here. I'm used to the... with the dry meat or... Uh -huh. You cut these open and eat them. With dry meat? Yeah. Oh, that's Smoked sweet. meat. Okay. Some cheese. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, fried. It's fried. It's fried dough. It's gonna be good. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, next no. and the fifth stop on our food tour. Looks like it's gonna be traditional. Ooh, nice. Nice ambient, and we're getting somewhere where it's warm. Mm -hmm. 
Non, non, bah, moi, ça, ça a Oh, it's better than Pavar. So that place, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but restaurant, you can read it right there. Hi, Draginovite Kasti. What he said, uh, it's a traditional Bulgarian tavern, and this food tour is really cool. We're getting to taste traditional Bulgarian bites as well as more modern dishes that the average citizen in Sofia, Bulgaria really eats. Uh, today, so a little bit of everything. We just tried three little toasts with one was like Ivar and another one was like a light white cheese and with yogurt the, mm -hmm. dish um, With a walnut on top. Yes, and then the last one was like a grilled eggplant with garlic. So Oh, and then we had the what's it called Perrin. Yeah, we got the Try the Pelinkovac with which is like a wine licorice but uh -huh. it's, it's summer in between. It's kind of like a Glühwein flavor, like with anise. Um, except not hot wine. Anyways, we're loving this. I mean, you're not getting full-size portions, but it's a free food tour. Anything is a bonus, right? So it's really cool that we're getting a lot of food anyways. Bye. Bye bye. Have a nice day. So that's a wrap on the Balkan Bites food tour. You can find it on, we found it on guruwalk.com, which is where you can find a ton of different free tours in cities all around the world. But we could not recommend this one more. I'm still mind blown that it's a free tour and you don't get like full, let's say after a big meal, but you have a lot of snacks throughout the tour. I think we made five or six stops and they were all really unique with like you have learned a bit of history about Bulgaria and the stories of the people here and their cuisine, of course. So it was definitely worthwhile, a really unique concept. We loved it and can definitely recommend it.